United Airlines just backed a tailless blended wing body aircraft, but what are the real benefits and engineering challenges of this design? I'm an aerospace engineer, and the design removes the tail and merges the wings with the fuselage into one lifting surface, slashing drag and dramatically boosting fuel efficiency. NASA and Boeing studies show blended wing bodies can cut fuel burn per seat mile by up to 27% while flying just as fast as today's jets. But this next generation layout claims it could push that closer to 50%. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. A tailless design makes control harder, demanding large, fast-moving control surfaces and advanced systems just to stay stable across all three axes. Passenger cabins are another challenge. Pressurizing the wide, flat structure isn't easy. Engineers are exploring alternative designs, but each introduces new trade-offs in weight, manufacturability, and aerodynamics. Manufacturing these structures remains a major hurdle, especially because the aviation supply chain has been optimized for tubes and wings. And it also demands specialized pilot training to handle an airframe that stays stable only through active controls. Those are some reasons why even even today, few of these designs have been flown outside experimental projects like Boeing's X-48. So while the design offers massive potential, it forces engineers to rethink aerodynamics, structures, passenger experience, maintenance, and operations all at once. Sounds kind of expensive. But do you think this will be the future?